Great Hello, Operation Red Nose. It all starts with a simple phone call. Okay, and is it standard or automatic? Some information. Five, three, and sorry, those last four digits? And a team of volunteers ready to spring into action. Team three. Then a driver, a navigator, and an escort hit the roads so that you don't have to. It is a free service, uh, so what happens is the, the teams of three go, go out to pick up the client as well as their vehicle, and that's the unique part of this program, was we get the person home as well as their personal vehicle. Each year, hundreds of people in Lethbridge take advantage of this designated driving system to help them get home safely from their holiday Christmas parties, up to and including New Year's Eve. And over the course of the Operation Red Nose season, we um, deliver with the help of probably close to 400 to 500 uh, volunteers between athletes and community members. Operation Red Nose has been in the city for over 20 years and for many of those years the University of Lethbridge Pronghorns athletes have given up their evenings to offer this service to our community. Every Pronghorn athlete with the U of L is required to do at least two shifts per year as part of their commitment with uh, the Pronghorn Athletics. Uh, we also have many different community groups and organizations who volunteer throughout the year. Um, as well as just general members of the public who, who figure that this is a good service and want to donate their time to help keep, uh, keep Lethbridge's roads safe. One of those pronghorn athletes giving up her night is Laura Roth. Let me go out, get to meet lots of people, drive around in some fancy cars. It's a good time. <laughs> so someone gives us a call and then a dispatch sends us to the location of the caller and then uh, the designated driver will grab the keys and drive that person's vehicle to their place with the navigator in the vehicle with uh, the crowd, whoever needs a ride home. And then the escort driver just follows behind to pick up the crew once everyone's home safe. The vehicle is a 94 Toyota pickup with half a box. I got a few enthusiastic hugs last time. Um, people are so appreciative of the service, so it's really nice. People are very nice to you when they're happy, they're getting their vehicle home, they're getting home safely, it's fantastic. Operation Red Nose is the Pronghorn's largest fundraiser. All donations and tips go towards Pronghorn's Athletics, which Stacy says happens to be their largest fundraiser, pulling in around forty-five to fifty thousand dollars. Without this program, uh, Pronghorn Athletics would would take a major hit in the bank account. Um, as a result of that, you know, unfortunately, some teams might get cut, and it might end up being the, the end of the program as a whole with uh, Pronghorn Athletics. Trying to get this this amount of community volunteers every year would be next to impossible. So to have uh, have the athletes be able to volunteer their time to run this program, it makes a huge difference and it helps keep, keep like I said, it helps keep the road safe. Thanks for calling. Bye. For Go On Shaw TV, I'm Jeanette Roche.